Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a tutorial video. We're gonna be going over the Binance Smart Chain and how to use the Binance Smart Chain wallet. If we were to compare this to Ethereum, Binance's Smart Chain is basically Ethereum's blockchain and the Smart Wallet would be like using MetaMask if you're familiar with those things. Again, you could customize MetaMask in order to use the Binance Smart Chain. If you want a smoother experience, just download the Binance Smart Chain extension. Binance is positioning itself very well. They're, they're making a lot of progress here to be clear. Whether you like Binance or you don't, they're making progress and they're gaining traction. They're positioning themselves to be a direct Ethereum competitor here because they're, it's basically a fork of Ethereum. Any dApp built on Ethereum's chain can be relatively easily transferred to Binance's Smart Chain. And they're spending millions of dollars to help facilitate that growth and encourage projects to build on their chain as opposed to Ethereum, which is currently being plagued with very high gas prices. So to keep myself and also you guys on the front edge of this leading and emerging tech, we're gonna run through how to use this stuff, a little bit more about what it is, and keep you on the cutting edge of DeFi. So let's go ahead and run 10 seconds of Tales of the Best Shiba Inu and Dogecoin in the world and jump into the video. An introduction to Binance Smart Chain, BSC. You may have seen it before, you'll probably see it in the future, and I don't see it going away. Binance Chain, the home of BNB currency, is optimized for ultra-fast trading. Binance originally launched a token sale and an ERC-20 token. We talked about it and encouraged you guys to potentially participate if you wanted to do so, but it wasn't financial advice when the coin was like a couple bucks. Now it's like 30 bucks, just saying, toot my own horn, right? Well, anyway, they moved from being a, an Ethereum ERC-20 token to launching their own blockchain, the BNB Binance chain, right? Well, instead of launching a layer two, so like a chain on top of a chain or something like that, they went ahead and launched an additional blockchain, standalone blockchain that kind of works in conjunction with their Binance chain. That is called the Binance Smart Chain, BSC. And basically this blockchain is here to be a full-fledged environment for developing high-performance decentralized applications. It was built for cross-chain compatibility with Binance Chain. And in the intro, I touched on it being an Ethereum competitor, right? Well, they're aiming to take dApps and everything else from Ethereum's ecosystem. They reference Ethereum here as being the first practical and widely used smart contract platform. And that's true, absolutely true to take advantage of the relatively mature applications as far as cryptocurrency goes, right? And blockchain tech and community, BSC, Binance Smart Chain, chooses to be compatible with the existing Ethereum mainnet. This means that most of the dApps, ecosystem components, and toolings will work with BSC and require zero or minimum changes. The BSC nodes required will be similar in hardware spec or maybe a bit higher. To put it simply, Binance Smart Chain is an Ethereum blockchain competitor with a whole lot of funding behind them. A parallel Binance chain to enable smart contracts and dApps. We're going to go over the wallet setup. I have this link down in the video description below. This is, this is a good page to reference because from here you can get to the wallet creation, you can get to the explorer, you can learn how to build on Binance Smart Chain if you should want to do so, and there's a quick link to their BSC Accelerator Fund. And that's another reason why you shouldn't take Binance Smart Chain lightly. They're giving $100 million in USD seed fund to empower emerging projects and drive collaboration between centralized finance, CFI, and decentralized finance, DeFi. You know, DeFi, that like all the rage thing that's going on right now and where like all the focus and money is revolving around. Yeah, all based in conjunction with the Binance launch pad here. So if they are already getting projects to come here and build and with that kind of looming seed fund, that'll definitely continue. Also, by the way, guys, we got a couple more mods set up, so we are officially, right, launching our Telegram group because we needed yet another group on top of our Discord and our forum and everything else. Where anyway, some people love Telegram, some people want a Telegram group, so I bring you Voscoin Gram, the Voscoin official, public, free Telegram group where we're gonna talk about everything cryptocurrency. But let's go ahead and set up the wallet and really see what this is all about. Okay, so I have this linked out. It's also on that page when you click create unlock the wallet, it'll take you to this. Their wallet functions as a Chrome extension, just like MetaMask. 
okay? So we wanna add it. In this case, I'm using Brave. Brave is a Chromium fork. It's basically a Chrome browser. They take Chrome tech and uh, they take everyone else's tech, to be honest, and they roll it into their own thing and put their name on it. But that's another subject day video, right? Well, you see, click, click, it's been installed and now I have the option to remove it. Not what we're doing here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this, right? And it should prompt me to create a wallet here. You can import a wallet, right? That would be I own a wallet and you would put a seed phrase in. Even if you have a seed phrase for another wallet, you could basically just reuse that seed phrase, but keep in mind this is on the Binance Smart Chain. So you probably wouldn't have any coins even if you had it like in another coin, right? So we're just gonna say I don't own a wallet. And then I'm gonna say you should subscribe. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna remember all that. Okay, I was trying to say something funny and type at the same time and I messed up like three times. So anyway, you put a password in, a password you'll remember, use the password manager if you want, or wherever you normally do your passwords here, right? Well, from here, you're gonna get your seed phrase. I recommend you write them down on paper maybe twice, keep one yourself, put in a fireproof safe or something, give one to someone else you trust. You could even give pieces of the phrase, right? So you got three people you kind of trust, each give them a piece of this, make sure they don't know each other. Okay, that's a good idea. Or you could be lazy and just keep it on like a Word doc on your computer. Don't recommend that, but hey, it's your money and coins, right? Click continue and it'll prompt you to put in some of the associated words here. So for me, that's gonna be these three words. And once you do that, your wallet will be set up and activated. You're gonna need some coins, but they function differently. I've got a referral link out to Binance and Binance.com in the video description below. I'm using Opera, I'm using a VPN, accessing Binance right now. And from here, I'm gonna to go to BNB, that's gonna be Binance coin. And you're gonna, you need some coins, right? You know, you wanna participate here. And this is something very critical. So you see the Binance coins, right? I have none. And you see the OX similar to like an Ethereum address, right? And the difference here is very important. Binance chain, BNB, is referred to as BEP2, B-E-P-2. Binance smart chain, BSC, is referred to as BEP20, B-E-P-20, BSC. These are different, okay? You can't send BEP2 coins to a BEP20 address. So for example, it prompts you right here, I want to send to this address, right? Well, I would have to withdraw BEP20 coins. And then I would put that address in here and I would click withdraw and then my wallet would be funded. I've already done all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my real wallet in here and then we're gonna move on to actually using this stuff. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Bityard, for being the world's number one cryptocurrency contracts exchange, or so they claim. And they also claim to have lower slash obviously better fees than than bitmex they've got some interesting sign up bonuses so you can use our link in the video description below join their contracts and derivatives exchange and you can click on promotion and then drop down to promotion and you can see all these tasks that you can complete and you'll be awarded usdt on their platform for doing those things all right so i went ahead and i imported my proper wallet here click this you can see i've got 10 coins here it's on the binance smart chain BEP20, and I'm over here on dapradar.com. I have it navigated to the BSC section, and it's ranking all of the Binance Smart Chain apps. And you can see the category, the protocol, which this is gonna make them all BSC, obviously, uh, the balance, and then the uh, users associated, and the trading volume, and just the activity there. PancakeSwap has kind of been the big leader here on Binance Smart Chain in uh, recent times and Cross Finance just launched and they've gained a lot of traction and we have an upcoming video on them as well. So what's cool about their site is you can click on them and you can get some base, just basic information here. So you can see the, the users, the transactions, the volume, you can see their ranking in general, DeFi and BSC and they claim to be the number one AMM and yield farm on the Binance Smart Chain. Then we got Cross Finance here. You can see their associated information. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this DAP. Once we open that DAP, we'll be able to see that, we, that their farming has just been launched, yield farming, and that's live, right? So all you have to do to start participating in these dApps built on Binance Smart Chain is connecting your wallet. Again, you could customize MetaMask in order to use the Binance Smart Chain, but if you want a smoother experience, just download the Binance Smart Chain extension. 
And I like to keep those things separate. I don't mind having another recovery phase to have a little bit more security, right? If one gets compromised, both of them don't get compromised. So we went ahead and we connected it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click on menu. All right, so let me show you actually how to use this stuff, right? So go ahead and click on uh, select. And you know, obviously any dApp you use is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this one. I actually needed to add more coins to my wallet because they're minimum here. It's gonna be 10 coins. So anyway, I'm gonna put in 10 Binance coins and that's about $300, the current uh, current value of it, right? It's gonna earn interest on that at 146% per year, and that's like the whole like yield, yield farming interest, right? Like you're trying to earn some, you're trying to make some gains, right? Well, that's another day, another video, just showing you the functionality here. So you pick what you, how many coins you wanna do. Click confirm. It's gonna prompt you to complete the transaction, and it gives you a gas price. But again, this is gas, on the Binance chain, not Ethereum if you're used to that. So the network fee is gonna be 0 0.00473 BNB, which will be cheaper than Ethereum gas fees. That's one of the pros right now because Ethereum's blockchain is so congested and while some people are looking at the Binance smart chain as an alternative. So I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm and you will see it sending that transaction. Shouldn't take too long and then it will give me a confirmation here. Well, there's the confirmation. And you can see when I started, the amount that was converted into USDY, their stable coin. And that's why I referenced the value, right? So it was about a little bit more than 30 bucks a coin, $31 more or less. And it has real time updates. It's a bullish thing. People, people get into that. I get into that. Keep in mind, every time you interact with a dApp on a blockchain, right? Say I wanna harvest these gains, right? I wanna harvest these CRPs. So if I do that, I have to pay a transaction fee. That's all I have to pay. But that's your cost to send this, like to initiate this transaction, to interact with the blockchain. There is a fee associated. So I don't want to harvest actually yet. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that. And withdrawing your coins would be the same thing as interacting again. That's not what I want to do yet. But if I did, I would just click confirm. Also to be clear, because I'm not going into like a lot of the details of things like yield farming in this video, when I did participate in this uh, this dApp here, right, it converted my BNB tokens into an associated USDY value. But when I end my farm here, I'll be withdrawing 50% USDY, their stable coin, and 50% of their actual token. So keep in mind these different platforms, there's a lot of nuances to them gets a little bit complex, which is why we're gonna make a video like literally specifically just on this and the pros and cons and how to participate in that stuff. But that's not today's video. Keep in mind guys, when it comes to this stuff, there's much more than just the Binance coin associated. There's tons of tokens on their chain. For example, they're pegging, you know, basically wrapping. It's like kind of putting another coin on your blockchain at like a one-to-one -one ratio. So there is a Binance pegged Cardano token, ADA. So they basically put Cardano as a tradable token on their blockchain. Like it can't perform all the other functions, but you can buy, sell, and basically hodl Cardano on here. There's other DeFi based tokens like Bake. And again, there's all kinds of other stuff associated. You may have heard of Comp. There's DAI, the stable coin, and pretty much everything else you could think of people have already brought to the Binance Smart Chain or they are planning to do so. So for example, you know, I am sure that I will have some BUSD on here sooner or later interacting with all these BNB uh, you know, projects and tokens and everything like that. So I can just click add that token. And you can see I don't have any in my uh, wallet here, so nothing pops up. This is also something that's always automatically crawling your address. So if you do get some other tokens, they will simply pop up here automatically. You probably already knew this, but just to cover all the bases as far as the tutorial goes, if you wanna receive coins, you just click receive. You can click that address and you can edit your wallet. So yeah, I can put my, my name in there or whatever you wanna put. And obviously you can send coins. So you can come in here and send any asset you have in your wallet. For me, that's just the Binance chain uh, you know, BNB coin on the Binance Smart Chain. And from there, I could, you know, say just have an address. I would already have it copy and pasted. I would just copy and paste it in there and say I wanted to send one coin. And it would prompt you, you're going from here, your address, 
to this address, you're going to send this many coins, it's going to cost you this much BNB for a total of 1.0, etc. I'm not going to do this because I would just be sending it to myself here and literally just throwing that amount of coin away. But otherwise, it's just that simple to send coins on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I didn't make this too complicated. Um, I, I, I know crypto is not a simple thing, but a lot of people make it more complicated than it is. So I hope I did a decent job just kind of walking you guys through this and participating with these smart contracts, these dApps and DeFi projects and everything in between. Again, yield farming is a whole different animal and you saw that I click click and instantly turned my Binance coin into something else, okay? and. That's okay if you know what you're doing, but just make sure you know what you're doing and the risks you're taking, but also the potential gains you're probably chasing as well. A lot of money to be made, and just as quickly, you can lose some money. So as always, that's why you should subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel to stay up to date on everything cryptocurrency, and I'll take you through this crazy adventure of DeFi that has just kind of become the focus lately because there's just so much going on with it. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll see you on the next one.